What is going on guys? My name is Orokabos, welcome to today's video. Now today we are playing dwarves against vampire counts. Now this is super super good opponent and uh, he he did a fantastic job in my opinion. And also this is a this is actually a huge testament to my dwarf build against VC. And uh, yeah, let's jump straight into it. Now, my dwarf fans, you guys will recognize this unit here. The Grumbling Gods and also the Pig Gate Gods alongside with Thorgrain. And behind them, we have a Runesmith. Now, what a scene, what a scene. And also we have not one, not two, not three, not four, five of Darkman Rangers. And uh, you guys know me. I love them, even though they got nerfed, I still love them. They're probably one of my favorite units on the dwarf roster right now. And that they are still very strong. Like, they are still very, very strong. On the side, we have two long beers, one of them rank 1. At the back, we have three more long beers. So overall, very, very heavy infantry and everybody on the roster are immune to psychology. Everybody, literally. Batman Rangers, not Beers, uh, PK Gods. Uh, I'm not too sure what the Rune Lords. Okay, so Thorgrain and Rune, Lord, Rune Smiths are not immune to psychology, but all my infantry are immune to psychology. Now, let's check my opponent's army. So, this is a very familiar army because uh, I showcased my army, and my army had. Um, had one Wagoof, one Mortis Engine, and a Blood, uh, Blood Dragon Vampire Lord. And he had Manfred on a Hail Stick, and two Wagoofs, and a Mortis Engine. It's just amazing that how uh, top players gonna always end up with similar build. And this is one of the case. So we have very heavy hitting uh, Grave Guards with Great Weapon times 5. I believe there you go. 4 on this side one more on this side and then we have zombies times four and that's it but a little bit different from my build because i had way more skeletons and zombies and he had f three fell bats manfred i believe is rocking a lot of spells let's check manfred actually oh manfred looks gorgeous on the hell stick i was putting on a dragon but hey that hell stick is very ugly but very good with a Master of the Black Arts, Raise Dead, uh, Van Hurst Dance, Macra, uh, Invocation of Nehak, Sword of Unholy Power. This is the one uh, that's super good with Manfred. Whenever he's engaged in melee, he's just constantly regaining Winds of Magic reserves as well as uh, the Winds of Magic regeneration rate, which is awesome. And I think I forgot to mention the kit I brought for Thorgrain. So Thorgrain, I brought the Great Book of Grudges, which is, in my opinion, the best buff in the game. Look at how huge the red is. And also High King, just the eyes on the cake. And also we have a Runesmith with a Rune of Wrath and Rune and Hammer of Tsakazurak. Now, let's see how this battle is going to play out. So, I'm actually just gonna speed up things a little bit. So my opponent is pushing in and uh, there's a clear gap between me and the white nine, so I'm not really corner camping. And in terms of uh, in terms of this white nine is just here, so there's a lot of gap. And there's plenty of space for my opponent to actually flank me. But uh, he's a little bit salty, he doesn't really want to engage. I'm gonna triple speed because uh, he's He's just staring, like we're just doing a like a stare down of the grudges, because basically we are here to settle a grudge, right? So we just stare down those vampires and dare them to attack us. There you go, and I'm gonna slow down things here. I casted the room of Wrath and Rune, and there was one volleying, because uh, there's two volleys, and all of them landed on Manfred. But uh, that's it. The hammer, uh, the, the room of wrath is gone. Now, 
The new rune of Rust and Rune is amazing, but、uh, the Rune Smith version is much weaker because if we check here, the Rune Smith version is only a nineteen seconds, which can only afford two shots from Buckman Rangers, two volleys. However, the Rune Lord version of、uh, the Master Rust of、uh, Rune of Rust and Rune is going to be thirty-ish seconds. That's gonna be four volleys, and、uh, if I had all the raiders combined with these many Buckman Rangers and a master room of Wrath and Rune, I can legitimately snipe Manfred straight away, and that's what happened in the Chaos against Zoo Devil game, because、uh, my Chaos Dragon actually got、uh, casted the Master of Wrath and Rune, and also the all the raiders、uh, marked by all the debuff. And that was not five. That was only four colors, and those four colors almost hundred and zeroed my、uh, my chaos dragon. In this case, Manfred doesn't really have enough HP and missile resistance, so he's gonna be a guaranteed death. But in this case, two volleys only did one third of HP, so not too shabby. But hey, I'm just reminding him that if you do that again, I can dish out just.、Uh, Same amount of damage, and you can see the radius. My opponent can see the radius, and he's not coming again. Now he's just typing to me, so he he was saying that ah,、oh, he just corner cam and stuff. And I was like, hey, we played each other another probably twenty times already, and、uh, I was like, because I was never a cheeser, and you can clearly see that the gap here and here, right? So I was like, okay, whatever. I'm gonna attack. So he, I think the reason why he said all of that was just buying time for his flanking units. There you go, because he wants to flank more, and I'm just retreating a little bit on the high ground to take the advantage of this、uh, elevation. But he's just doing a full retreat. See that? Now he's full retreating. I was like, all right, all right, whatever. I'm just gonna push in. So I pushing. I did left my leadership a little bit.、Uh, didn't pay attention because I was typing. But I'm just gonna triple speed. And I was like, okay, I'm coming. I'm coming in the center. And I'm actually offering my back the entire here to to your force to flank me and attack me in the rear. Like, I'm okay with you doing a full surround. And I'm just gonna sit here and take it like a like a door. Because、uh, this is actually a huge testament to my dwarf build. Because、uh, normally I would love to、uh, push to engage, but here my opponent is actually actually taking all the time he needs to set up a perfect sandwich.、Uh, I believe I'm gonna let him. I don't know. Like I'm not too sure what's gonna happen next.、Uh, I think I'm about to pushing a little bit. There you go. I'm shooting at. So pay attention here. I'm actually shooting at those、uh, grave guards with great weapon because they have no shield. They are super vulnerable to missile fire. And now my opponent is gonna be attacking, I think, because、uh, these guys are under constantly、uh, the the Batman Ranger color fires, the Expo fires. But、uh, looking back at this replay, because right now instead of waiting for him to set up. I actually need to just push in and、uh, start to use my、uh, use my Buckman Rangers to damage those、uh, Grave Guards with Great Weapon. I just need to push in everything to start to basically making、uh, take more time to flank me. But、uh, on the ladder、uh, at that moment, I didn't really think that much, and I,、uh, now it's quite obvious I made a huge mistake. Like. This is what you shouldn't do as dwarfs. You need to engage, force engage with your range. But、uh, I didn't. Whatever. So two、uh, bugmans shooting at each of the actually three of them shooting at this unit. So those grave guards with grave weapon is gonna take a lot of damage while coming in. But looking, look, look at how beautifully set up my opponent did. All the bats, Manfred coming at the same time, and、uh, you know. One summon skeleton unit on the backman, and、uh, 
all the bats are occupying different units, but check out here. There's another. Actually, I think I wasted a hammer of Cataract onto him. I shouldn't do that. But there's a rune casted onto him, and all my colors are firing at him. But uh, it's a shame that all of them got occupied except one unit here. Because uh, that's going to be so devastating onto the Manfred if if like, maybe another unit got freed. But uh, hey, that's a lot of shots. The Manfred is down. Like, even he casted an Invocation on the Hack, he's also just basically get pinned down very hard here and uh, these guys are no match to my zombies at the back but the wagoof is gonna be amazing at killing killing those hammers but I did assist this blob with a uh, stalkering and runesmith but looking back I think the bad thing sh right now should I should cut save that hammer of Kazarak and cast it onto one of the wagoofs like that's just a waste of uh, uh, waste of my ability uh, casting that onto Manfred. Like look at that. The hammer of Kazura can actually last fifty something seconds, and which is going to be huge against the Swagos here. But hey, that's were no issue uh, for for my Buckman Rangers and the uh, Stegaton Warriors and. I'm not gonna cut it against Buckman Rangers either. And now I am focusing on killing Mortis Engine. Because right now I need to identify the biggest threat. And the biggest threat right now is this Mortis Engine. Because uh, the Swagoofs, I can grind them down in melee. Manfred on a Hell Stick without uh, the rune, I, I'm not gonna snipe him. He's just, he's just gonna dance around and dodge my arrow fires. So right now, the best target is the Mortis Engine, and I'm targeting it. And he's actually taking a lot of damage, as you can see here. And also, look at those Grave Guards just die to my Grumbling Guards, amazing. And also, these Grave Guards gonna die to my Hammers in no time. And now, like, here I'm also fine, because uh, this Buckman Rangers has uh, charge charge bonus against large, uh, charge defense against large. So which means the Wagoof charging in is not gonna do any impact damage. And also Buckman Rangers are, are okay-ish melee fighters, because right now there's nowhere to run. Like, if I, like, the best thing right now is to just basically stay here and tank it, and just fight those Wagoofs in melee, because all of these units are immune psychology, so they're just gonna fight. And here, at the same time, I just need to spam click onto the Mortis engine because one of the trick for uh, one of the trick for um, dwarves are that if you force uh, fire while in guard mode, you can actually fire while being occupied. And now I think I'm about to cast another hammer onto him. That's why I shift the target to Manfred. I'm not too sure. I think there's gonna be a uh, I think that's the waste of time. I need to definitely. Uh, yeah, there you go. So I tried Van Volley, didn't work out. So I'm switched back to the Mortis Engine now. Alright, so Mortis Engine got forced out because uh, he has to. And here, look at that. One of the Grave Guards already disintegrated. Amazing. Grumbling Guards are winning as well. And there's another hammer. I really try to just use my, uh, not hammer, the Room of Wrath and Rune to snap Manfred. Uh, which is gonna buy me two more volleys, but I'm not too sure whether two more volleys can cut it. Right now all these units are freed up, so they're gonna come back and fight. And now I need to reposition my Bugman Rangers a little bit, because they are a little bit depleted. But right now it looks really dicey for me, because I'm still trying to get Manfred down. But uh, I, I really think I should focus on Mortis Engine now, because uh, right now those Wargus are doing ma some major damage uh, in a grand situation against my Bugman Rangers. But uh, once my Lomb is pushing in, I think I'll be fine dealing with them in melee. And um, uh, right now is the, the moment that I am a little bit um, not sure because uh, my range units are all very beat up, very depleted and uh, I'm not too sure whether I'm going to hold on here. 
and I still have all these list list to clear out. But hey, I still have a very healthy Nombia here, very healthy Nombias here, and also we have some Bugman Ranges times three. I need to actually save these uh, Bugman Ranges for them to shoot at us that Mortis engine. Because if I don't do it uh, soon enough, my entire army maybe just died to that attrition. There you go. That that's the rune. Because in my opinion, I should have focused on the rune until the Mortis engine a long time ago. But uh, hey, that's a little bit indecisive of me. But uh, look at that. This Bugman just coming back and shooting at the Mortis engine in the back, which is awesome. And uh. Those wild groups are getting pushed out, which is also nice. And uh, right now, all these units are coming back and shooting at the Mortis engine, which is great. And Manfred really need to deal with them immediately. And also, it's to use the Mortis engine to get them routed as well. And that two wild groups are really having a hard time dealing with my my infantry, because uh, dwarf infantry with hiking and uh, not hiking. With the great books of grudges can dish out a lot of damage. There you go. They actually got pushed off, which is nice. And I'm winning this fight here as well. I actually send a move order for them to get back to, into the ranks, which is nice. And uh, that those Buckman Rangers gonna gonna just go. Like there's no save for them. But hey, I still have a lot of ammunition. I still have all four. I still have four of my up my ranges even though I just lost one here and I still have really elite hammers here I need to use the hammers to carry out those zombies by the way but uh, I think zombies can deal with them just fine and I have three zombies left and I still have my leadership so it's looking looking really good for uh, dwarves all of a sudden or my opponent had left are uh, these wild goofs and Manfred on um, Hellstick and Mortis. That's all he had left. Which is awesome. Did I cast? Yes, that's the hammer of Kazarak. Because uh, that's the target you want to cast the hammer on. And this this Wagoof got healed up a little bit, but now he's in trouble. He's gonna crumble again. And I actually park my pick a gas right here to fend off the wild groups and also my leadership is coming back Nombias are fighting again which is nice because no Nombias can do a lot of damage onto Mortis engine in a in a 1v1 fight Her, uh, this wild group actually got pinned down and uh, I don't really worry that much because uh, wild group uh, like I have charge defense there you go on Buckman so so I don't really care a lot and I'm focusing on blobbing up this uh, wild groove to get rid of it and uh, I'm repositioning my Buckman Rangers once, once more and uh, I really just need to get rid of that Mortis engine because uh, these Lombies are having a hard time fighting them but right now these two wild groups stand no chance against my uh, super elite dwarf infantry here there you go one of them died already that's gonna be a huge balance shift into my favor. Now I have two units here firing at the Mortis now, which is great. And that the Slombia is gonna kill those uh, chaff unit in no time. Thorgrim and Runes Smith is oh, that's the, another walk of died and everything died. So this was a fantastic battle, I should say, because uh, I I really think my opponent played it really well. And uh, the only difference between my VC against Dwarf build and his are the number of Wargoofs that we brought. So he brought two, I brought one, but I had a dragon. So, you know, three SEMs, a lot of Grave Guards with Great Weapon, and always bring a Mortis against Dwarfs, and that seems to be the way to go. But I'm just glad that uh, I win the game. Like, it's very hard, there's no joke. Like look at the kills on my elite infantry. Like actually, one of the Lombius units performed the best. They killed two hundred eighteen units. That's the champion Lombius right there. And uh, Buckman Rangers, I'm a big fan of it. Uh, I think I was a little bit indecisive. I should have used my 
use all my runes onto the mortis and focus on getting rid of it. But hey, that was a very good game against an, an old foe, a very very strong opponent on the ladder, and uh, I'm just glad uh, I had a win. And uh, thanks for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed the casting. For now, Rockabos signing off.